Capricorn, let's take a look at this person that is watching you from a distance. Checking you out online, driving past your house, asking friends and family acquaintances about you, trying to get, and it really gives the studying, trying to get information on somebody. We see this air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but Capricorns, Please drop this person's sign down below. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and share for daily Capricorn readings. And be sure to comment down below, drop your birthday, where you are watching from, and your sun, moon, and rising. Shout out always to everybody in Michigan that is watching Capricorn. The only thing that I ask you to do other than liking and subscribing is use your common sense. Please, please, please take what resonates and leave what does not. Last shuffle as we are getting into this person that is eye spying, keeping tabs on you Capricorn. Some of you are dealing Some of you are dealing with a Libra when I think of the world or a fixed sign person, a Leo, a Taurus, an Aquarius, or a Scorpio. But this is somebody who is watching you, keeping tabs, asking people about you. And here's the thing. It really speaks to somebody who in particular has one or at least two people, excuse me, at least one, but could be up to two or more around them. This to me speaks to somebody who cannot be alone, could be codependent, needy, or the other N word, narcissistic. But this is somebody who feels like um, you have some loose ends with them or they have some loose ends to tie up with you. Sagittarius, Cancer, mm, mm, mm. Now we're seeing the mutable signs. Okay. The King of Pentacles, little Earth, Taurus. We see Capricorn. And the Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is this, the pages. The page of air, the page of water. There is an offer or an apology that has this person paying attention to you. Now, really to me, this screams, there's an opportunity being placed in front of you. A relationship, romantic partnership, business and work opportunity, opportunities when I think of the chariot, travaille to work. It also speaks to somebody spying on somebody, wanting to know all of the details of their vacation. Where are you traveling to? But what's going on in somebody's residence, their house? Could also be that the person that is watching you, spying on you is a man. We don't see a lot of that over here. But somebody's got their nose all in your business, all in your house, all up in your family, your work, wanting to know. And really, it's the toxic not wanting to let go. Not wanting to let go, stubborn, also makes me think that this person has a lot of status or is very social. It could even be somebody that you work with, Capricorn, but it is giving the heavy, heavily watching, keeping tabs on, and this new opportunity and where it is headed moving to, especially something that's very exciting, a major blessing 
when I think of the sun and the chariot. The fact that you are, the fact that you're moving on, that you bought a house, that you bought a new car, that you moved out of that apartment into a condo or a townhouse, the fact that you are leveling up has somebody wanting to keep up with you, keep tabs on you. And the money on the ground, counting your pockets. What is it to this person, how much money you're making, how much you paid for your house, how much you're spending on, on your electricity every month? This, when I say this person is all in your business, family, finances, rom what, romances, everything that you have going on, this person wanting to know, wanting to be a part of it, wanting to have their nose in it. Like, who are you? Who are you, Capricorn? to walk away from this individual, to dis just decide that you're gonna move on, move out, buy a new car, get a new job, go on vacation without telling this person, without letting them know. It almost screams like somebody that you notice how everything's beat up and boarded up here in the background. Is this somebody Is this someone that you've already distanced yourself from? Page of Cups. Mm, mm, mm. Two of Cups. The Six of Cups. So what do we have? Six, two, eight, nine. Mm, mm, mm. Nine. So now you can't tell me that this individual isn't selfish. All about them. But notice... The demonic looking angels up here in the dark clouds. Notice this castle back here behind these children, these two people. We see two people here, two here. Mm -hmm. Look at the way that this castle is built and look at the way that this See, it's a little connecting piece. You're not supposed to walk away from this person. Where do you think you're going? What do you think? What do you think you're doing with this new person? It really speaks to somebody feeling like you should be waiting on them, waiting for them. This new opportunity, offer, partnership, whatever it is. Somebody wanting to be all up in it needing to know what is going on. If not, if not, just to keep track, but to, it's, it's screaming sabotaging a situation. It screams, Knight of Swords, come on, sabotaging somebody. Can you even? The Hierophant, and the lovers, Taurus, Gemini. Stress, anxiety, sleepless nights. Somebody unable to let a situation go, let a person go. And the fact that we're seeing this page of wands here, a demon, this king of wands here, surrounded by these flames like he's come. Like he's coming out of hell. Exactly. If you get a feeling that there's somebody that you need to block, as you may not have blocked this person, just go on ahead and block them. Go on, go on ahead and give yourself space from this individual, especially if you've gotten the impression that somebody is okay obsessed with you, obsessed with you, your family, and what you have going on. Heavy on the what you have, what you have going on. Following you, keeping tabs, wanting to keep notes. I wouldn't be shocked if this is somebody who was driving past your house at night. Just trying to see what's going on. And for some of you, this is somebody who is obsessed with who you're dating. The fact that you've moved on, you've moved on since your relationship with them has ended. Oh, this commitment is forever. 
For some of you, you need to be careful that this person isn't violent, dangerous. We see Capricorn, Cancer, Sagittarius, the fixed signs, Taurus, Libra with this Empress. Gemini, Tor. When I say that you need to be careful around this person, around your family, I feel very specifically that this person, if they do not have access to look at you on the internet, they will ask the women around you or a woman around you, mother, child, somebody with a child or is a mother, informa for information. For information. And this is why I can't be hanging out with people that are okay with people I'm not okay with or aren't okay with me. This is one of those things. And the messages the talking to the people you know, feeling like you have, like they're not done with you. I don't feel so much that it's you that has loose ends with them. They feel like they're not done with you. So if they're not done, you're not done. Obsessed. You see, obsessed. And notice this, like the energy. It's, what do they got planned? This is somebody who doesn't want to see you doing well. It screams sabotaging a situation. Notice how we have this partnership and somebody's hand behind their back. This is not somebody coming to help or trying to help you. At best, they want you to stand still. At the worst, this is somebody trying to bring you down. Tear you down. Peace like... And very tactically, t taking someone apart, piece by piece, systematically trying to take somebody down and out. Ooh, I told you, it's the talking. Keeping tabs, asking people, trying to get bits and putting all the bits and pieces together. When I tell you that, it's, it's screaming obsessed with. Getting evidence, talking, oh, da, da, da. Some, for some people, it's fake concern. It's, oh, how somebody doing? I haven't talked to them in a while. But you, you, it's not that they haven't talked to you in a while. You don't talk to them. You don't talk to them. But they definitely want to know what's going on. They want to know what the heck is going on with you, though. A little Libra energy here with the Justice card. Can you please explain to me, along with dropping the repeating numbers that you've been seeing lately, can you explain to me why this person is stalking you, obsessed with you, trying to make you look bad in public, throw you under the bus, even trying to, even trying to create a legal situation out of this? It really speaks to somebody trying to get back at somebody. Like it's really somebody trying to collect evidence, having conversations about it with people close to you in an effort to, I'm telling you, make you look bad. Especially for you Capricorns that are in this business or romantic partnership, it's like, oh, you don't really know about Capricorn. Yeah, oh yeah, you don't know. You don't know about them, how they move around, how they, yeah, it's very that. Or, oh, I didn't know you had enough money to do that. It's very, oh, I didn't know Capricorn could do that. Y yeah. And this is somebody that you used to be close to. That's the thing. Yeah, or they're close enough to you that nobody's thinking twice about giving them this information, or potentially, depending on you know, who
who they're targeting. But it's the, oh, it's no big deal. I totally overlook what this person was saying. Yeah. They're trying to get history. They're trying to get information on you from people that are close to you. Where is Capricorn getting their money from? How much money are they making? What are they doing to pay their bills? Obsessed. Obsessed. And really, this particular nine in the reverse screams to me that somebody is obsessed waiting for one person to get somebody alone and get them with their guard down to give them exactly what they're looking for to give them exactly what it is that they are wanting and it's sinister notice the horns here aries taurus capricorn yeah and it could even be that they're working on one particular person very hard in an effort to get them to talk, say something, partner up with them to keep tabs on you. And there's nothing more disgusting than somebody not liking you. And nobody cares if somebody don't like you. It's the part where they go around seeking out other people who don't like you and making it a bigger thing. You just got to separate yourself from people like this and let them do what they do and just make sure that you're dotting your t you're dotting your eyes across and your t's. Because this is somebody who cannot move on. The fact that you are moving on and there's evidence and not only they can see it but the public can see it. The fact that somebody's lost control over a situation, the situation being you, is getting the best of someone. You moving on. This person that's used to having people all over them, hanging on their every word, catering to their every emotion, whim, they lack emotional intelligence. They lack emotional stability as they're on this boat rocking all around. Understand that this individual is very dangerous. And not only that, we're looking here at this King of Cups, but we're looking at the inside of a big ship here. And what I never noticed before is that they're all standing in this dirty gross brown water. So this may be why they're obsessed with you, Capricorn, is they don't have doo-doo else to talk about. They don't have doo-doo going on because y'all know I'm, I'm not swearing anymore. Yeah. This is one of those. They don't have anything going on they got, they got their head up their butt is exactly what it is. That's really what it is. They have their head up their butt and they're obsessed. They lack the emotional intelligence and stability to just move on, to just walk away. There's this energy of needing to take someone down, get close to somebody close to them, and then ruin their reputation, talk about them bad. It could even be just disrespecting you in person. But it's the needing to know so that they can talk about it. Like there's, there's somebody, if not a group of people or even around this person that gets something, okay, that gets something from talking about you. And here's the thing, Capricorn, the emperor here, Aries, Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, all the horned folks, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, the fixed signs. I think we saw Pisces earlier, but that could just be from all the other readings where they showed up. But when I say that you are the target of this person because you are large and in charge. The HBIC, okay? Male or female, always shout out to the men. But because King of Pentacles and the Emperor, because you have a high moral compass, 
because you have a high moral compass, because you have standards, it may even be because you have good taste, Capricorn, because things are going right for you and they cannot not acknowledge it publicly. It cannot not be acknowledged. They can't look away from you. They're hearing about you. Good things are happening. They're not a part of it or these things are not happening for them. When I say it's tearing somebody up and now somebody is just obsessing over how to get you to lose this contract, get you to lose this relationship, taking this relationship down, playing in the middle, it's, I also wonder if this person doesn't have a problem. Alcohol, drugs, smoke, lust. Like it really screams somebody feeling like they have everything that they need to be successful and taking somebody down. And the knight and the queen of fire, the rats and the dogs, the fleas, as mentioned in a previous reading. When you lay down with people like this, it's the... Somebody, this person is in a competition with you. And where you thought that this person was a friend, a partner, good people, they really wanted to get close to you, to get close to you, to, to do you in. When I say that you need to cut ties with this individual and walk away because they're getting too emotional and they can't, you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to be the bigger person. And even if it seems harsh or petty, you're going, to have to cut, you're going to have to cut this person out. Because if you don't cut them out, they're going to, they're going to get rid of you. A betrayal. The rug being pulled out from underneath this person. So you may have already had a, an encounter with this individual where they were already trying to get close. And they failed, did not succeed. Understand this person is trying to bring a new person back around or asking the new people that are around you for information. Notice, why is this person losing their head here? And this person running away and smiling. Why is this person running away here? Why does this person feel the need to defend themselves? And there's this crowd of people, like there's a lot going on and other people are just unaware. This person is really, and it screams hiding in plain sight. Ooh, the hiding in plain sight, the asking of, and being obsessed. Three, 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 we saw the empress, yeah. You need to lock it down because this person is asking other people around you, around them, to see what you're doing, to keep tabs on, to talk to your person. It's really... They want to speak to somebody who knows your deepest, darkest secrets. This may even be somebody that you trusted to be a confidant, somebody to keep your secrets or that you could tell anything to. No. That very sinister. Very, very dark energy. If not, this is somebody who used to come to you as a person of comfort or to keep their secret. Yes. The fact that somebody sees you from a distance being happy, having multiple traveling, having multiple opportunities coming and going. This person cannot let it go. They need to be seeing drama going on with other people. They need to be in the mix. And it also, this Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles too, really speaks to somebody who's a little bit too old for these childish internet games. Capricorn, please drop this person's sign down below. Hit the like button, subscribe and share for daily Capricorn readings. Let me know where you are watching from and drop your sun moon rising. And Capricorn, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.